Oyaje, we muega, de muega, oana atia, oya ore, edinadi, chemune, yamune. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm joining you live from Nakuru City, the fourth largest city here in the Republic of Kenya. And the words you are previously hearing are some of the greetings from the various communities that live in this city. Welcome to another amazing episode of Nakuru City Tour. Now, a very interesting fact about Nakuru City, of course, it's the fourth largest city in the Republic of Kenya. And following the approval of the Senate of Kenya in June 2021, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, gave a city charter for official transformation of Nakuru City on December 1st, 2021. And that makes it, of course, now the fourth largest city in Kenya after Nairobi, Mombasa, and Kisumu. So definitely, guys, it's almost like Nakuru is known as Nakuru Town. But since of last year, December has gotten its city status, so it's Nakuru City. So a lot of developments is certainly happening in this city. And yeah, it's quite vibrant. I'm liking the vibe. I'm really liking the fact that agriculture really plays an integral part in the city. And that's quite good for investments in that area and also in manufact manufacturing. Now, on the last tour, we went to the market area and you saw some of the local businesses. Now, we're going to be walking towards Kenyatta Avenue and you'll be seeing some of the more um different supermarkets and other buildings and there's also a mall in nakuru as well guys so definitely it's it, it's got a good vibe here and we'll be checking it out today Okay, coming up to the left, you can see a shop that sells various beautiful African fabric. And just after that, you will see Airtel. Now, Airtel is a very popular mobile company throughout East Africa. They can be found in Tanzania and also here in Kenya. And they do offer some of the best data bundle rates so for your internet and also airtime. So that's something you may want to keep in your back pocket for next time if you do come to kenya it's good information to know you can check out airtel and also safaricom also is another popular mobile company here in kenya and they're quite popular as well for the m-pesa that's the mobile money which is very very popular throughout kenya so very interesting information we're coming up to kenyatta avenue very long road and on here what i like about it you follow the road you can see some of the more important uh, i'll say features key touristic features you can find here in the crew for example the maasai market 
America Hotel is on here. You can also find the shopping mall at the end of the road here, West Side Shopping Mall. So that's very good for you to know, Kenyatta Avenue, and many different supermarkets as well is on here. So this is one of the places you will definitely walk and explore when you do come to Nakuru and it's very convenient it's almost like a one-stop road because you can find so many things on this road that you may need to buy and everything is in close um, walking distance and if you don't want to walk you can get a border border you can get a taxi so very convenient here on Kenyatta Avenue let's explore Nakuru City Another interesting fact about Nakuru City is the fact that dairy farming is a key economic activity and provides the inputs for various milk processing plants around the city. Other manufacturing industries include Manengai Soap Factory, Car and General Motorcycle Plant, Ever Ready Battery Plant, Ferti Plant East Africa and many more. The city also prides itself on being the home of Kenya's largest supermarket chains. For example, Nakumat, Naivas, Tuskies, and Gilani supermarkets were all founded in Nakuru City. According to a UN study released in 2011, Nakuru is Africa's fastest growing city and the fourth in the world. The city is also center for various retail businesses that provides goods and services to the manufacturing and agricultural sectors in Kenya. So we're coming up to the post office here in Nakuru City and you'll also find the Huduma Center here where people come and pay various bills and different things like that. 
and right opposite the post office on the same street here you will find the Maasai market here and you can buy various jewelry different artifact beaded jewelry you can even get things like black seed oil honey and different cultural stuff can be found here can be purchased here so definitely check this out on Kenyatta Avenue as you can see it's a busy day got good uh, traffic of people that walks here and everything like that so it's not a secluded place or anything like that and there are also various private hospitals or health clinics nearby in case you will need their services so i really like this uh, kenyatta avenue here because so much things can be f can be found here as i was saying to you when we started the walk here on kenyatta avenue Okay, we're coming up to one of the lovely parks which is located here in Nakuru City on Kenyatta Avenue and it's been done well. The last time I was here it wasn't done up as it is now but I can see more trees have of course been planted and it's growing quite well and there's also security here so it's a nice place for you to come relax and unwind. It's a definitely a good vibe and yeah I'm really liking this new feature and development that I'm seeing here in Nakuru City. I'm really impressed with the developments I'm seeing in Nakuru because the last time I was here, I didn't see this park here. It was still being developed. And it's a lovely park where you can come and sit and relax, enjoy a meal, socialize with friends. So there's a lot of developments happening in Nakuru these days. I hope you're enjoying today's vlog. Welcome to Inspire for Travel.
Okay, we're coming up to Westside Mall here in Nakuru City here in Kenya. And it's a very popular shopping mall, very cool, chill out, hangout spot for you to come. You'll find things like DHL here. So in case you're shipping international packages to Nakuru, Kenya via DHL, it will arrive at the offices here. There's also a Java house. It's a very nice cafe where you can come, relax, have a coffee, hot chocolate, and other food and vet beverages and they also have very good wi-fi there's also things like kfc and other shopping um, facilities here at this mall so definitely check it out when you come to nakuru city most likely when people come to kenya they will stop of course in nairobi they may visit mombasa but they may miss this amazing city here in the rift valley so definitely check it out when you're coming to the republic of kenya Okay, right behind me is Mount Kenya University and I'm going to end the vlog here. I do trust that you have had a joyful experience watching today's vlog. And while I'm in Kenya, let me know some of the content you would like to see in Kenya, some of the things you, maybe topics you'd like me to discuss. And I appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.